Okay then. Okay then. Now ah, that sounds much better. Okay then. Now ah, that sounds much better. Cool. Hello, hello. Yes, we sound better now. Uh, third time is the charm. Had to restart OBS there. Oh dear, what is the world coming to? So hopefully you get me five by five if you've restarted the stream. That was definitely uh, an hilarious uh, speeded up Pac-Man. Hooray, hooray. Uh, cool. Also, we have been joined by uh, oh, 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 oh. Snarf has joined us as well. Say hi, Snarf. Snarf, say hi. Hey, yes, look at you, you're so handsome. You're such a handsome boy, aren't you? Yes. Yes, my big handsome boy, yes. That's how I talk to him. Big handsome boy, oh yes he is. The ginger snarf, the, the one that's on the other screen, uh, is Orko. Um, so yeah, so, where were we? Uh, so, uh, before uh, you let me know that I was a speeded up Batman, which was rather hilarious. Um, yes, catching, catching up on the story so far. So we are Max, a doctor who woke up with amnesia in uh, an insane asylum that was burning down and were just like left there, basically. Uh, something to do with us stealing a car, apparently. Um, then a giant stone angel rescued us, took us away to uh, a town where there were no adults because an alien plant-based entity uh, killed all the adults and was trying to convert all the children uh, to plant-based entities as well. But we killed the alien plant-based entity, freeing the children, who then took us back to the asylum where they were playing weird music and there was a weird preacher-type bod and then some sort of water spirit, some sort of selkie or something, uh, said, what do you want? And we were like, oh, we just want to see our kid sister again who died when we were young because there was a flashback. And so we ended up becoming our kid sister on a weird carnival island full of murder clowns where we fought a giant squid and then ended up back in our childhood home where there were like ghosts and it was a little bit sad, really. Uh, and then we gave the dying sister the toy that she wanted and we seem to be at peace now with the fact that our sister died so that's where we are that's the that's the brief uh, brief catch up of it i'm not a robot anymore no angel i mean i am i am like you know an emotionally stunted uh unfeeling being but um i don't sound like a robot and that's the important thing and because we've got another cat in here as well there's snarf he's gorgeous all right maybe i'm not completely emotionally stunted i love my cats uh okay so uh let's get that unmuted let's get the spooky music back on whoa and let's crack on shall we that's enough mucking about load game so let's see what happens to us after getting ourselves sorted with with sarah i'm just gonna uh just volume in my cans a bit that shouldn't affect you i don't think right let's go all right sarah So, judging by all the rain and the leaking stuff, I think we might be back in the asylum. Just a child. Could it have died here? Oh, that's that's a nice start. Yeesh. Please, I've 
had enough of the circus. Yeah, no more spooky clowns. Just spooky lightning. Alright, so what's that? More gargoyle. I feel like they're always watching me. Sometimes I feel like the gargoyle's watching me. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> That was really me trying to be high pitched there, and I don't think it worked. All right, so uh, this is locked. Gate is shut tight. Could be so important inside. Uh, the level goal. That's probably likely. All right, I think we should get out of the rain. Let's go up. What have we got up? Oh, we got machines. What a strange device. Wonder what it controls. Okay, it is kind of an interesting device in that there's some sort of big lead ball and a chute and a grate. Oh, we got some buttons we can press. Doesn't seem to be working. We must need power first. Well, that tells us. What a strange device. Wonder what it controls. A hexagonal hole at this pipe junction. A hexagonal hole? What a strange device. Alright, okay, so. So we need to get power to the strange device. Probably with something hexagonal. Alright, so I suppose we go down. What's that? Is that anything worth looking at? It looks like something worth looking at. But apparently it's not. Oh good, some inside. Whoever built this place loves ominous stone figures. Now they got that right. I mean, uh, I'm gonna have to open the door first. Okay, kind of a short level. I think these ones that are in the um in the asylum tend to be shorter levels. So what have we got in here? A bed. That's not interesting. A radio. A radio. Wonder if I can get any news from the outside world. So this will probably uh, give us more hints as to our backstory. We we were thinking the other day that uh, Max is a doctor who may have invented a medicine uh, that caused horrible defamations in kids. A bit like yes, I know. A bit like thalidomide or something. So uh, maybe this news radio will tell us more. Today the world mourns as children who successfully responded to the hope drug begin to die. See, it's guilt. He's just got guilt about that. Um, what else is going on? Nothing to click on the bureau, that seems a bit... Worthless. Right, whose painting is that? Where do I know him from? It's you, Max, isn't it? Impressive, isn't it? Yeah. The artist really captured his strength in this pose. I'd introduce you to him, but he's um, visiting my mother. She's been feeling run down lately, so my father thought it best that she get some rest at the clinic. I guess we should be going. We don't. Uh, Jacob. I wasn't expecting you. I assumed with finals coming up next week that you'd be spending your time in the library. Instead, I find you here, wasting valuable time. I've more than prepared for the finals, Father. You needn't be concerned. I'll do just fine. You'll do just fine? Fine. Is that your goal? I thought I taught you better than that. Anyone can do fine. I don't want you to be just like every other student that medical school turns out. Remain focused on what is important, Jacob. Yes, Father. Well, so that's someone else with daddy issues. Seeing things. Oh. And then things disappear. Uh, Capelsol, yes. This is why we have extensive clinical trials. Uh, and also look at Francis Oldham Kelsey. She was the reason that America didn't have a thalidomide problem uh, because she worked for the FDA and she point blank refused 
uh, to approve thalidomide for um, morning sickness uh, because her special some of her specializations of work were in the um, placental barriers uh, and she wasn't happy yes I know she wasn't happy uh, with the evidence about uh, the potential for a placental crossover she dug her heels in pissed a lot of people off but ultimately saved a load of kids uh, and got um, like uh, a presidential medal I forget the name of the medal but JFK gave it to her uh, yeah, absolute amazing yeah a uh, hero uh, hero and yeah one of those um, uh, hopefully not forgotten super women of, uh, of science anyway what's behind this picture of that dude's daddy Well, let's pull the valve. Mm. Uh, is it hexagonal? Probably. Yes, medical school is hella hard. Um, nobody needs that sort of parental pressure. That's how mistakes get made, like people pushing through experimental drugs before they're ready. Don't drink bleach, kids. Uh, so uh, this this is really just a short little linking level, isn't it? It's like get the key, do the machine. By the looks of it. Started the machine. What a strange All right, final walk there. Jeez, who designed the system? It seems that the rotating electromagnet is linked to the stone weight. But what is the machine's purpose? Uh, okay, so. We can rotate that thing. Flip that thing. Uh, oh, cool. So it... Oh, and then it resets. Okay, so... That does... North and South, because the balls are North and South. Uh, but that ball that is East... Did it not do the East? One? Oh, it did do the east one. Okay. So we do that. And that should do the others. But we don't want to do that because that will probably just reset them, right? Um, yeah, I've got a feeling that this will... Yeah, lock that back. Oh, it's one of those puzzles. Uh, okay. Maybe some time here. <laughs> um, so, there's probably something very logical here that I don't know if I, I well, I, I should be able to work it out. I'm a logical person. Honestly. Right, hang on. Let's reset it, because one of the things is remembering that you can only do three at a time, like that. So, right, so we do that, test those three. Hmm. 
Do that, that all. Equip them, and then do that, that all. Oh, and then that one shut. Bum. Okay, I think that's something, isn't it? Mm. Right. Yeah, I may also lose patience. And just like keep turning things and go, ah, what's happening? Like there's there's definitely there's obviously a logical solution. I'm just an idiot. Um Let's reset them, let's think about it. So we can only do like three at a time. And to do the bottom one would have to, like, if we did, if we did this and we did, like, the, these two in the bottom, then to do the top, we'd have to either close these two to open the top, or leave that one open and close those two to open the top which I think might be something so I do that mm. I think I've got like all four of those like north, northeast, southwest ones open, right? So I just need to try and remember what I did here for the for these ones. So like, if I open them and then. Yeah! Aha! I do have a, some sort of logical brain. I'm not sure I was how I was picturing that in my head. Yay, we're going to brain mage, yay! Alright, and we're in the other room. Oh! Ugh! Looks like a slaughterhouse. Ugh! And a flashback. Ew. Ew. Here, let me help you. Such an idiot. Patience is the key, Max. Never let the problem get the better of you. You know, I wasn't always this brilliant. <laughs> I don't believe you. Oh, I used to botch my lab tests constantly. But I stuck with it and learned from my mistakes. You're my brightest student, Max. And you have the most potential out of all your classmates. Now well, come on, we still have a lot of work to do. Keep seeing things. Hello, Vader Kumpli. Uh, you, you missed some daddy issues with Max's mate Jacob uh, and his daddy issues. Uh, you missed a terrible puzzle that involved logic. Uh, and now we've walked into a, a murder room. And yeah, just had a, a flashback about... Um, about our science teacher. Our Max is the worst issues. Right, never mind. Look. Dead bodies. It's terrible. You did this, Max, probably. You would, Max. You would. How could anyone describe such atrocities so, so clinically? Yuck. 
Yuck. How could anyone describe such atrocities so so clinically? Let's uh, let's look at the desk. Anything on the desk? That, that was a, a recording of uh, Dr. Morgan, um, who, in Dr. Morgan's reality, a patient, presumably Max, uh, keeps disappearing. Um, meanwhile, he's doing very illegal experiments, as we can see, uh, that he wanted to hide from the police. Um, Apparently the chalkboards have code to something, uh, to the back lab. So let's have a look here. I have a feeling there's a message hidden in this rambling mess. I search in vain for the elusive solution to this most intriguing question. Evading me the way a mouse does a cat, the source of insanity remains hidden from me. Darting from flesh to muscle, muscle to bone, and back again to the portrait of the mind. This always to maintain one step ahead of me. How can I trap what I cannot see? Surely I am close to the source by now. Okay, so apparently there's a clue in that. Hello, Mitchy. And yes, it would be nice to see a well-run asylum in a video game. Or to, I, I think for that we'll probably have to go to the indie games and like play Depression Quest or something like that if we want like reasonable, uh, realistic uh, examples of uh, of mental health and dealing with mental health issues within video games, not from late nineties edgy people uh, okay so this is apparently some sort of clue oh, I'm, I'm clicking in what's going on I clicked and a K appeared what's, what's going on am I stuck here okay. oh uh, there's an I am I literally gonna have to go letter by letter until I see a hand. <sighs> it, <laughs> is this a fucking cryptic crossword? It, yeah, it could be. Like, evading me, does that mean that it's a, um, uh, an anagram? <laughs> Oh, dude, this is like literally. Kid? Um, um, hang on. Oh, is this just, oh, hang on. Is it the first word of every sentence? Waiting the last does a cat. 
I'm back into the fortress of the mind. Come on. This one. Uh, H, H, yeah, okay. S, yeah, okay. Uh, e, okay, yeah, it's first, whatever that. Uh, once removed from its house. Uh, let me read this. Uh, oh, the K I already grabbed. Um, Oh gee, I think it's also going to be an anagram as well, isn't it? Uh, 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 y uh, T. Uh. Oh God! Yes. Fuck this clue. Um. So, we've got a bunch of letters and an anagram, and I think there that there's a good chance that, okay, so we've got three letter words, so it's probably the, right? Um, and the two letter words may be okay. The side okay? The yai oh. The ED's okay? Let's just make sure, um the kids, okay, yeah, all right, yeah. The kids, oi. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's not the, uh, right, let me. Maybe we might find another clue. So I'm, I'm actually going to get a pen. Or maybe a working pen. Do I own a working pen? I don't think I own a working pen. Oh, hang on. Could be so or do. That's a good one, actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's the Sith. Um, they probably would have got sued. Um, there's no, there's. Oh no, okay, there is a way out of it. I, I just had to right click because I think it's for this lock. Some kind of electronic security system on this door. See. Who would butcher these people like that? That. That was some Shatner level line reading. Let's just get that again. Oh. God. Oh. oh, that was, yeah. Anyway. Enter, enter code. Damn. What was I thinking? Uh, so so we got to solve the anagram then. How am I supposed to get there? Walk, you damn fool! I have a feeling. I search in vain for the elusive. Oh shush! Yeah, I guess you're right. Always 
Surely I am close to the source by now. Knowing now how difficult it is to refine this hidden monster, I am led to believe that the age of my test subjects may be a factor. Younger subjects tend to display less evidence of infection. The madness is so entrenched within the aged frames of my older subjects that it is nearly impossible to discern the same tissue from the insane. Yes, Edith, okay. If the middle words was highs, what would that leave? That I like that thinking from astronomer. And hello. Oh. Uh, yet hides okay. I think the last word is only two letters. Um, so obviously it's put this uh, thing on there, which is shush you. The spacing was set, um, but the former astronomer, Key hides too. He just said, aha, uh -huh. good one with Key. So maybe it's just the, it's the order. It's not key hides two. It's two hides key. Damn. Uh, I mean, we've got like what nine combos here. Um, two. So we've done key hides two. No, two hides key. No. Hide. Damn. Hides key two. Yeah. Hides key two. Damn. Is there another word we need to find? But if that blackboard gave us something. Does this blackboard give us anything? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. within the complex frame of the human body lies the key, but where? 
are so many dark avenues to explore that I hardly know where to begin. Humbled by this daunting task, I need time to regroup before I begin my search for this elusive prey. Years of research have taught me to be patient, but small to be lost in the reckless pursuit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, the first letter of every word uh, are the letters we need, and now we need two words of three and five letters. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. I've never actually done an escape room because I don't like going out. Um, but, yeah, this would be annoying. The something... The youth, the youth, I like the youth. The youth. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, um, so it's like the youth hides the key. Right, does this one have anything? Yeah, there's more in here. Message hidden in this rambling mess. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay, so just the salvation, obviously. I just. Ah uh... ha! Uh -huh. I know. It's just. Oh. How can I like hide the password? A. Hey, so you've got this like word-based password, which is like a sentence, surely that's easy to remember. Um, why do you have to write your confessional notes about your, frankly, illegal and unethical experiments um, on, <laughs> on blackboards? Uh, that then, yeah, it's honestly, mate, it's just Dr. Morgan. You're a bell end. Okay, so. Uh, youth hides the key to salvation. That seems about right, because that's what we were picking up from the from the blackboards as well, wasn't it? Youth hides the key. Youth. Youth. Hide. The. Key. To. Salvation. Youth hides the key to salvation. Yay, we opened the door. We've unlocked an achievement called Redemption. I'm not sure if I really want redemption. This guy seems like he's possibly a jerk. This <laughs> past tedious tests. Oh, big red button! Ew. Giant head babies. My God. Huh? Oh. Was that the orderly who was like reasonable the other day? Ever want to get back, you have to let me help you. 
I know all this must be confusing to you, even frightening. But this work is going to help so many people. Sick people. People with no hope. No! No! Calm down. You're going to hurt yourself. Those straps can hold a man twice your strength. No! Uh, here we go, more weird psychodramas. The only good bug is a dead one. People, oh, nice spot, Capella saw. His hope was the medicine that they were talking about. And people know, oh, good spot. Um, yeah, yes, it's always giant green water tubes. Nobody ever does like blue water tubes, do they? Or um, purple? Oh my! What are, are we near an alien queen? What the hell's going on with this this thing? Oh, maybe we shouldn't have pressed the big red button. All right, what's going on? There's a big red button or a tiny one. Okay, just for no reason whatsoever, we're a four-armed, goat-legged thing. <sighs> Who did the voice acting for this? <laughs> Nothing to say about the sack? Okay. Some special function. A uh, special function, eh? Egg time. Okay. One, was that an eyeball just blinking at me up there? Why does OV position keep coming up on Twitch chats? Why? What is what is OV position? OV position? OV egg, right? Oh, positon, not position. Okay, so I like Googled uh, of Positon eggs and I get a link for Metro with You can get sex toys that lay alien eggs inside you, so obviously we tried it. Thanks, Metro. Uh, other position means the expulsion of the eggs from the other duct to the external environment has come from nominum invertebrates rather than Ethereum animals. <laughs> Too late now, Capella so I Googled it. <laughs> uh, okay, so I can't get into the Queen's Chamber, so I'm going to have to find another thing. That building serves the best function. So I guess we'll go down here, let's see what's going on. Um, <laughs> squidgy. It's just everything seems tactile and squidgy here. Um, very, uh, if it weren't insect eggs, uh, then I would say very Zygon. Oh, what's happening here then? Oh, ho, ho! That's adorable. See, to us, we're heavy aliens. Oh, that, oh, something, Anna. A handsome young psychopath. I hope you uh, handsome, eh? I see. Are we shipping these two? <laughs> Grimwall. You're Grimwall. But what are you doing here? Why have you returned to us? I thought Gromna had everything. 
everything under control. Grimwall? Is that my name? I don't remember much. Just waking up in this hive and having to battle a few insectoids. I had to use this strange device that I found on a large one just to pass their security forces. It's an ID harness. Grom built them for the insectoids since they lost their sight. With that on, you look like another bug to them. That's why they're not swarming all over you. Look, my name is Raven. We need to talk more. But until the work slows down, I'm stuck here. Afterwards, I'm going back to my pod. We can meet there. My pod's glow code is Granasser. Use it if you need to get in there for anything. Is that my Gravin's dad? Um, we, we found... Uh, when the Ovida toll splits out an egg hole, that's our reposition. Doesn't quite scan Fade the Company, but effort, good effort. Uh, yeah, just woke up, murdered some dudes. Hello, Gravin. Too busy to talk now. The couriers are delivering members from the furnace at a fantastic rate. I'll meet you later at my pod when they shut the furnace down. If they shut the furnace down. Okay, we gotta shut the furnace down. What else is happening in here? Anything interesting aside from this monster is also a half machine. Half bug, half machine, what does it mean? What does it mean? Scanners and bugs. Okay, so bug fly in, bug drop stuff. Oh, we can talk to the thing. Who are you? That's a sex thing. <laughs> what is your function? <laughs> Okay, so the first thing was about changing genetics and getting rid of the flesh. Now we're enhancing the flesh with cybernetics. Just, hmm. Who designed these robotics? I require my ID harness to be operated. No, I don't want another function. Just want to say goodbye. Right, so. Oh, that's just horrifying. Let us leave this horrible room. And see if we can switch off the furnace so we can talk to McGravin. Um, or get some authorization to upgrade our stuff. What's going on down here? Oh, that looked clickable. A great machine of some sort. Its size alone speaks of untold power. Yeah, let's uh, let's go back to my pod and have some secret conversations, huh? Oh yeah, you know it. A great machine. Yeah, is this? It's all just a great machine. What are those things? The bridge seems flimsy. <laughs> because, as Mother told us, the flesh is weak. I could barely see the ground through all the clouds. I'd better be careful of these paths. It's a long way down. Hey, I'm a four-armed man. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, nothing particularly interesting now. What's going on over here? Are you a furnace? A large pot. Looks like someone's living quarters. Uh, so that'll, that'll be the pod, huh? A, lot. 
defense mechanism for Grevin's pod. <laughs> So, what have we got? The heater. It's alive. It's alive, but we've got what looks like a hammer. Can I pick up the hammer? Yeah. Yeah, give me that hammer. Girl, are you a cybernetically enhanced baby? Because I can't get you out of my dreams. It's horrifying. Wonder if Gravin has any for the crystals. Ooh, Tally. And now, our breaking story this evening. During a helicopter sweep in the search for another missing child in the troubled remote community of Warrendale, authorities were startled to discover what appears to be a gigantic insect hive attached to Mount Cytaria close to the ancient mechanical ruins. Details are sketchy at this point, but some sources have estimated that the visible portion of the hive is only a small part of the greater whole. More details on this breaking story as it develops. In an attempt to halt the infestation of the insect horde that is sweeping across our nation, Leading entomologist Gromna will lead a team to infiltrate and examine the ever-growing hive. When asked why he was risking his own life on this mission, Gromna simply replied that he was willing to sacrifice anything to stop the infestation. When he heard the news, President Agris said, Gromna is truly a great man, and we all wish him much success. Today, the nation breathed a collective sigh of relief as word from Gromna finally reached our closest outpost to the hive. Gone for months, and presumed dead, it turns out that Gromna's team is not only alive, but they have found a method to slow the horde's infestation. Remaining near the hive, the team will continue their research in an attempt to stop the horde. Hi, Graven. I guess you're not in. You must be out helping Gromna save the world or something. I just wanted to tell you that I love you, and I miss you. And I really look forward to you coming back to me soon. Goodbye, sweetheart. Yeah, no, it is confusing. It's, I'm, I'm with you guys as well. Um, yeah, there, there's... If we're Gromna... Oh yeah, Inferno was great. She was cool. Even the even the strong man, idiot as he was. Yeah, I'll get a tattoo. <laughs> do, do different buttons give us different um, news? Our breaking story this evening. During a helicopter sweep in the search for No, no, we get we get the same thing. So this seems to be news that's relevant to our current reality, we're Gromner, aren't we? A sledgehammer. A sledgehammer and tools. So we've got a sledgehammer and tools. I suppose we should go break or fix something. Well, we need to switch off the furnace. So let's see if we can find the furnace. Well, I think we found the furnace, didn't we? Um, what's going on up there? Nothing, nothing. Anything of interest? Uh, or did we explore up here? I don't think we did, did we? Glow from within. Must be some large fire. Oh, like, like a furnace, eh? What's happening? Okay, so we got lots of little grubs here. 
Wait, did they just throw a baby in? Sorry, did someone just throw like a baby into the furnace? throwing kids into the spe yeah, totally normal baby food is totally normal right kind of sledgy sledgy things yeah I can sledgy sledgy things okay cool can I do Down then. We'll probably need it. Ugh, I can hardly stand to look at these beasts. Hmm. All right, let's. So judgmental uh, about that. Right, so uh, we've got red, green, purple lights, squelchy buttons, Sure I'm murdering the baby insect as opposed to just like using it for things. Yeah, grim and this this machine is weird. Right, so do these symbols mean anything? Can I re if I hit that it squishes his head and goes back to there. And those go back to red, so... Hmm... Yeah, I don't think... Oh, hang on. Oh, hello. Oh. Ah! Ah! Ah ha ha! You get a tickle the back. You get, like run your fingers up and down there exoskeleton so that and then if I change the color of it oh yeah okay okay so so this shit is meant to like that flip back out again okay Like match stuff. So like that matches that, right? And then yeah, so that that matches those. So as if I squish the button now. Ah, oh, it resets. Um. Oh, something happened. Oh, okay. It. it it's quite uh, it's quite Cronenberg-esque, isn't it? Um, 
Right, okay. So that took some of the power down. So, all right, and we change the color of these, and then, oh, we get different symbols. So now we're going to work out what combo stuff. So have we got Euro and Bluetooth? Is that what that's meant to be? No, that's that's Bluetooth, but that's not Euro. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. It's making some form of sense. Let's let's see the purples and let's see what we get out of the purples here. So that would appear to be that one, yeah. Is that a thing? That is that that one? Yeah, that's that one. That's that one, right? Yeah, we'll do. We'll we'll get this done. We're just gonna like tickle us back and. No, I want that. I uh, don't want that. I want that. And that makes that one. Yeah. Look at me. Oh, have I done that one quick? Wow. Yeah. All right, three more to go. Three more weird bug things to go. Um, so what do I need? I need... Oh, that, that Bluetooth thing there. Not that, that, that. That there looks like that. Yeah, two more to go. Oh wow, have I got have I got you already there? One more to go. Which I don't I don't think it's this one, is it? Because that's just gonna be the Bluetooth. I think it's this one. Oh, uh, is it not that one? Uh, oh, I think it's this bottom one here, it's not that, it's going to be that, there we go, that's that little diamond thing there. Yeah, hey! Baby genocide. McGrath and I know McGrath's pot was running down here, wasn't it? He walks quite purposely, doesn't he? Like Vince McMahon walk. Hello, McGrath. Many years before taking action, they 
spoke to the leaders of both sides through grand visions, declaring that there was to be one final battle for supremacy. The victor would rule the planet, and the defeated race would be forced underground, never to return to the surface again. We won? Yes, thanks to you. You destroyed nearly a third of the troops, all by yourself. Yeah, we won. If we won, then why are these things back above ground? No one really knows. Actually, no one really believed the story of the War of the One, or thought that there were any insectoids. Until now. What? So I'm famous for defeating a third of the armies and sending them away, but then nobody really believes them. And it's, I exist, don't I? Yeah, revisionist history, or just just the fact that this is one of the more confusing and less thought out psychodramas. That evil machine will be silent for a while. Evil? It's just a furnace, isn't it? The thing was burning children, Gravit. Cyclopean children. What? But how can this be? How can this be? Romna. That's the name the bugs were using at the furnace. They said he's giving the orders to burn the children's bodies. That's absurd. He's my mentor. A brilliant entomologist. He never entomed. What? Entomologist. He's our foremost specialist on insects. That's why the Peace Council chose him for this mission. Okay, so this is a little bit, um, like starting to almost mirror the flashbacks we were having about you know that with the mentors and the um, the the med school stuff and what have you so some maybe this will piece together in a bit maybe but um, yeah they're definitely all some sort of metaphor uh, capellasaur but yeah do we just have a culture constant memory wise yeah but Logan's run, but with memory wipes, or the timeless children. If we really want to get into the uh, canon breaking Doctor Who uh, side of things, um, maybe we can talk about that some other time. Uh, but yeah, but this is, is our mental bad. Are we the baddies? Could be, could be. Oh. Oh, Capelso has opinions. Well, we'll come back to you. Put a pin in that, Capelso. We'll come back to that. Mission. What mission? What the hell is going on here? We were sent here to examine this hive a few months ago. We were captured, but Ronna convinced the Queen to put aside her plans of conquest and negotiate a peace treaty. Since then, it's been peaceful for both sides. In fact, Tomorrow is the day that both leaders will meet to sign the treaty. Fader Company is exceptionally correct. Doctor Who doesn't so much of canon as a series of enthusiastic suggestions. Uh, and what you should always do is sing the Mystery Science Theatre 3000 theme tune when watching Doctor Who. Alright, absurd. Absurd! Let's click the word absurd. Absurd! That is some nerd rage, Fade. That is some absolute nerd rage. Revan, TikTok requires authorization to upgrade my ID cards. Who can do that? Normally, Bromna is the only one who can authorize such upgrades. But with the increased activity in the Queen's chambers, he remains there almost exclusively. I think we can fool TikTok if I make my position sound important enough. What should I say? Tell him that your authorization comes from Gravin. Protege of Ronda, honorable assistant to Her Majesty. That should do it. Okay, so my thoughts on like the metapha side of all this, um, uh, that, yeah, maybe the, the hope drug 
maybe it's the the mentor of Max and his buddy, and maybe Max was going to be a whistleblower. Perhaps is that what's happening here? And that this is like, you know, we're we're playing out the this bit. I don't know. Well, we'll find out. Maybe or maybe we won't. Fader Company, stop Doctor Who trolling. <laughs> yeah, seventh Doctor, bird poo. Right. Oh, you stopped experimenting with the baby. Retribution is definitely a peace treaty, right? <laughs> what plan do you speak of? Your memory banks must be fluctuating. Ronda has seen the error of his kind's ways. And has come to aid us in our desire for revenge. With his gift of cybernetics, we shall once again rule the surface. Yeah, they're, they're quite chill about giving the information to their hereditary enemies, but their hereditary enemy's greatest champion or, or scientist or whatever has defected to them. And, you know, we're wearing, like, passes, which we're going to get upgraded, so we've got a pass. We must be allowed in, right? It's like being in the civil service. Just walk around with a piece of paper in your hand, you've got a job for life. Why did I ever leave the DVLA? enough to conquer the Cyclops without them? Without the speed of cybernetics, we would be vulnerable to the nuclear fire which the enemy controls. Consider it before we even reach the city. But with the aid of cybernetics, we will be swarming within the walls of the capital before their hands can even reach the launch button. The dawn will bring the age of the insectoid. How do you do, fellow insects? Would you like to remind me of our war plans? Oh, let's get an upgrade. I require my ID harness to be upgraded. Upon whose authorization will I grant this procedure? Graven, protege of Gromna, honorable assistant to Her Majesty. Graven, for while I search my database for confirmation, my records indicate that Graven is the assistant to Gromna. However, his authorization alone is not enough. I will need to verify that you are of sufficient age to be placed within the Royal Guard. Proceed to Lincoln Scanner for positive age identification. No, he wants to scan a limb, does he? But how about my... Yeah, mate. Are you old enough to be a guard? Uh, where's the scanner then? There. Age 
Oh, here we go. Bit of a flashback. Or something. Treatment? What treatment? A treatment. They found a way to slow down the disease. It says here that a Dr. Morgan was ultimately responsible for developing the DNA V treatment. Didn't you study with the Dr. Morgan back in med school? Oh! Sophomore when he earned his doctorate. Well, the treatment's called HOPE. It's supposed to decelerate the growth of the DNA V, almost doubling the lifespan of affected children. The Aztecs found a way to survive the plague of Quetzalcoatl without conventional modern medicine. Well, hey, if Morgan is close to a cure, a true cure, then maybe he can use another set of hands. Maybe it's time to pack up here and go home. Uh -oh. I don't understand. No, you don't understand, do you? So, Dr. Morgan was working on the hope drug to cure DNA V, which was the thing that was causing the children to mutate, whereas we were researching it in Central America because the Aztecs previously had survived it. Hmm, one of my TAs is doing science. I should pack up a move. Yeah. So the the story's getting getting larger, getting more interesting. Wow. Let's see. We're all, we've been upgraded, so we should be able to go to the thing now. Blip. Let's go see the Queen. Yes. Oh, green jars. More green jars with babies in. Dr. Morgan? What test is this? Ah, Max. You're just in time. This is a test of the subject's threshold. The serum will travel directly to the neurotransmitters of the brain and without actually harming the monkey, cause it to feel excruciating pain all over its body. What? Why? That's not an experiment. It's torture. What possible purpose? When you outrank me in lab years, Max, you can question the methods. I see the potential fruits of our research and that justifies the means. Oh, of course. A valuable lesson in scientific research, Max. In layman's terms, you can't make an omelet without breaking the few. Okay, Dr. Morgan's a prick. Uh, meanwhile, no angel. Enjoy d d Have fun. Uh, and fade. Um, enjoy lunch. See you in a wee bit. But, uh, yeah, Dr. Morgan's a prick. Testing a chimp, super experience quest, spider monkeys. Hmm. This cyclops is half bug. Uh oh. Who are you? Grit Gritsa. Gritsa? Yes, that's my name. Gameplay. Where are you from? From. Where are you from? From. He knows Grom is a betrayer. Gromna? He was your leader and betrayer? How did he betray you? Betrayer? Me 
So, ew, ew, and ew. Um, Gromner's a prick. Whoops. Went off screen there for a sec. Uh, but yeah, can we... Oh, my strength will break the bottle. I need something to cut it free. Grab <laughs> Because he's a sci-fi alien, he doesn't say things properly. Okay, so maybe I... No, no sledgehammers then. Alright. So I'll need something to cut a bottle free. But of the, not the tools or the sledgehammer. Um, uh, let's go back and talk to McGravin, maybe give him an update. What else was happening down around here? I'm sure there were... A great machine of some sort. Its size alone speaks of untold power. Smash the machine? That's what so many things. Sledgehammers and machines up. Nothing happened down there. Strange. They seem to mark an entrance to nowhere. To freedom. Hmm. So we're gonna like Yeah, I mean they're obviously some sort of bridge that we need to trigger, right? Um A great machine. Probably through this great machine. to learn the password for that. Uh, well, let's... I've seen your fellow team members in the Queen's chambers. Rothna has interchanged their lower bodies with insectoid anatomy. What? I haven't seen them since. We must save them. I'm sorry, Robin, but their minds are gone. Wow, he was angry about that, huh? Um, it's alive! Right, uh, so we've hit the bit where we're not quite sure what to do. We've got a sledgehammer, we've got some tools. We need a password for that. We need something to cut the things. Let's uh, let's go back to the furnace. Smoke's flying up there too. This is me. 
Can we go up the tube? Yeah, Fade Company, welcome back. Uh, we're, we're, I'm at the um, I'm at the point in the game now where I'm just like, I've got some stuff and I'm not sure. I can see some things, but not everything. Um, the the most obvious thing are the babies, uh, which I need something to cut them away with. So maybe you can help. No. Okay. Is there anything in here? Oh, hello. What's that? Aha! That will cut away the thing. Oh. Well, that's to think normally I'd have been wandering around for like 40 odd minutes or something. So we take, so we take the pincer. We've got... We've taken a Cyclops baby. I don't know why we have a Cyclops baby. Cyclops babies, they'll do the same for you. That uh, shirt to McGravin. Maybe he'll know what to do. Oh yeah, he wanted evidence, didn't he? So... Here's your proof. I brought you the proof you asked for, Graven. Are you going to help me buy the makers? <laughs> yes, of course. I suppose we should search around this pod. Come on. I have his globe code. <laughs> Behold this baby in the tube! New area. What are those? They appear to be schematics of some kind. Judging by the shape and general mass, I'd say they were diagrams of great machine. Great machine? What's that? It's the huge round piece of machinery that sits on the edge of the hive. Some say it was left there by the makers themselves. Others think that it's a power source of some type. It used to emit a weird humming noise. But now it remains silent. Hmm. What? According to these notes, two parts may have been removed to aid the insectoids. I need to visit the great machine and see for myself. Catch you later, Mitchy UK. Alright, so he's going to check out the big machine that's got the space bridge on it. I should have my mouse back in a second. Yeah, alright, what do we got? that a sound generator will open the worm transport tube. Okay, good to know. These designs, I do not understand them. What else we got? Grubs! Grubs? What is Gronda doing with them? A locked cabinet. I suspect that the traitor keeps something important. All right, let's see if we can unlock it. That's probably what we need tools for. Crap, a locked cabinet. I suspect the traitor keeps something important in it. Grab it. That's not right. Why? What's the right in the wall? Robna is clearly insane. Uh, 
idea. My answer is always sledgehammer. So we need to unlock that at some point. Uh, I'm sure we'll find some sort of key for it. What's that down there? Probably just more grubs. Yeah. Uh, and then the thing about the sound to uh, do the thing. So let's go find Gravin uh, and the machine and see what's going on. I mean, there's not much of a property to respect the rights to. As he said, it's uh, primarily on all species of babies, yeah. Uh, well, we're just going to talk to him from here. Have you figured out the purpose of the machine? Part of it. But I need time to properly study it. Gromna has removed two pieces from it. Generators of some kind. I need to attach the missing pieces to get the machine running again. Unfortunately, only Gromna knows where they are. All right, that's our next little mission. Find the missing pieces, of which I don't think any are down here. But why am I stuck? Um, I mean, if you had some missing pieces, they'd probably be locked in that cabinet. Maybe now I can pick it. No. Uh, These designs, I do not understand them. Romulus knows. Where's the door? Where's the door? Alright. So, uh, we wanted to go. Oh, and I think we probably want to go up that tube. Um, uh, but we probably go up that tube with the sound generator. I mean, do we? Do we switch the furnace back on now? Uh, I'm not sure. Again, have you got anything new for me? Nope. You look like you should be an exit. Nope, nope. Can't get past there. Biz. Thing. Uh, 
<laughs> Are we the baddies? I mean, we could be. So, uh, Gromner certainly seems to be, at the moment, slash Dr. Morgan, uh, the, uh, the one. So, we yeah. got... Can't watch the telly again? Hang on. Nope. It wouldn't, you idiot. Alright, we've hit that impasse again, so uh, we're looking for bits that have been hidden. Probably in there. Something about opening sound chambers to make a worm tube. So the question is, where are the sound chambers? Oh, well, this seems to be... You got anything new for us? Nope. So this is where they, they came in with the embers before, didn't they? think dudes I've got tools I got a sledgehammer you've got nothing interesting to say anymore I don't know hmm. can't use any of them there Uh, we're, we're in the pointless wandering phase, dudes. What's happening? Have you fixed it? But I need time to properly study it. Only Gromner knows where the missing pieces are. A great machine. Have we explored all the areas? That's a good question, former astronomer. So there is down here with the great machine, which McGraven is working on, and he says it's missing some parts. Um, oh, oh, it, it, it. Let's go around down here to like the living areas. Um, this doesn't seem to be anything. Like it's not move in. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Um, yeah, there doesn't appear to be anything to walk into on this. It just appears to be a bit of scenery. Um, we got the big bad's room, which has a lock cabinet. So, I think we need to unlock the cabinet somehow. Um, but with what? I've tried the tools. This isn't working. Tools do not help. The sledgehammer does not help. And sledgehammers fix everything. Can you take that thing sticking out of the grub on the table? That's... That's interesting. Um, yeah, I don't think you can. That's the squelch down there. Oh yeah, we'll try hitting it with a hammer. I can't do that. He can't do that. Uh, there's this, which is... So that seems like something. We need to sort out the sound generator. 
so that we can open the worm transport tube for reasons. These notes uh, we can't understand. These designs, I do not understand. In his best wolf impression. Um, I don't think, like, you know, the little pens and stuff are just part of the designs. So I don't think there's anything else in here until we can get some sort of key. Um, this is McGravin's house. We've taken all the important stuff here. That's a... Uh, it's alive! We took uh, McGravin's tools. There's nothing to watch. No, fade to complete your mouse will not help uh, <laughs> at all. But thank you for trying. It's like leaning when you play Mario Kart and, and turning the controller like that. Okay, this is kind of interesting that now... Uh, uh, like we can't use the telly anymore. So I don't think there's anything left in the Gravin's hut. That thing that hurt down there Looks like someone's living quarters. is just part of the hut. So up and over here is the, the glow from within. Must be some large fire. Yeah. This is the furnace that we shut down, but it does have Looks flying up there too. Right, that's the worm tube again, but we can't walk up there. Uh, I don't think we can smash it. Worm tube. Anything in the bed. I'll go back and have a nose in a sec. But yeah, th there's. we appear to have done all the furnace stuff. We shut it down, they stopped melting babies in there. But they're still pumping, because they're idiots. Um, we... That's how we distracted them with that uh, pipe. They are refining fuel for their mechanized parts. So it doesn't look like anything's in here. Large pot. Um... So it looks like I might need to go back there to get to the worm tube. Uh, anything in the bed though, that's very good. Nose at some beds. Oh, hello. Lumpy pillows. Aha! A key. Former astronomer, you're good at these games. Ah, it makes a sound, does it? Get the new sound, get the new sound, it goes round. That was the caves. Uh, I knew them. Lovely fellows. A sound generator. It would be enjoyable. It would be enjoyable. enjoyable. Okay, so maybe the sound generators. Not for that. Maybe we need to shove it in the worm tube, which is either. Just bobber in. The other place that was actually properly named as the worm tube 
was in here. Oh yeah! <laughs> Hello, my children. This father is here. <laughs> father is here. Land now, kids. This is truly the mother of all evil. No father. What have they done to this poor fellow? He's got an insectoid body. Who are you? I am Grando. And you you are. I am Grimwall. Gr Grimwall the hero. Too late to sit. save us. Now, hero. I don't think I can do Matt Berry as well as Guy. Father! That's probably the closest you're going to get. Where are you from? The research team. Sent to investigate the insect toys. Sent by who? Council of Peace sent us to stop the plague of insectoids. Of course it's a plague. Plague? You mean the insects were going to take over the city's middle? Yes. Until Gromna came up with his plan. You mean the peace treaty? <laughs> peace treaty? <laughs> Hell no! He's helping the bu the bugs get stronger with those cybernetics. They're go going to attack the during the meeting for the treaty. I don't know why, but I'm just having flashbacks to Batman the movie, like the 1966 one. Just because there's a peace treaty. I must warn the council before it's too late. Already. Already too late. Too, too far away from the city. Our poor people are doomed. Ramna is a traitor! Traitor and a butcher. He d d did this to to me. Said he didn't w didn't want me to run run away. S s said I s stay here forever. Team? What team is that? C Council of Peace sent us to stop the <coughs> plague of insectoids. What are you doing here? I f feed the clones. These aren't real children? Real enough for the queen. Feed on. Feed on? Makers cannot help. Cannot help us now. Clones are people too. Yes, do you play Netrunner? And they're all just there going, Father! Father! 
outrageous me more. Grr, arr. What the fuck? There are children in cages who are also trumpet players? I mean, it's got a very trumpety sound. Like, I mean, are they just farting? Even the doorway is blocked by a living wall of worms. The grubs make noise. For what purpose? It's a musical game, isn't it? I wonder. Uh, oh, ew. ew. Okay. Really? Okay. What age range was this picture when it came out? Good question, Capelso. I think it might even have had a rating on. I think it was obviously very adult. Um. It might even have had an age rating on it. Sanitarium. You may be. Some quick note of the Wikipedia page. Um. Uh, it, it, it looks like it was rated T for teen. Anyway, so we've got a music clue, haven't we? Yeah, it looks like there's a T on the box uh, art cover. Right, so let's, uh, let's click out this because... Just um, just that those three. No. Hey. I'm like some sort of vague musician at times. I I can play guitar occasionally. Uh, back into another room of grossness. Oh no! I should have guessed. We're going to have to do the MAGA buttons again. Oh, no. That's nice of the game. All right, yeah, you've done it once, that's fine. Nothing happened up there. Tools or something. Let's talk to this dude. Fuck, but 
she still seems aware as a cyclops. Who are you? Gorilla. I merely surprised to see the cyclops and I, especially in the queen chamber. You seem familiar to me. Do I know you? I am Grimwall. The Grimwall of the war? But how can this be? It must be a sign from the makers. Where are you from? The city, of course. I was part of Grohl's research team. Before he betrayed us. I don't understand. How did Grogna betray your team? It's a little complicated. Mm -hmm. But I've managed to piece it all together. I can tell you the whole story if you like. Yeah, like Coruscant and uh, the Star Wars films. I don't have much time, but I'd like to hear your story. I'll keep it going. After we were captured, the Queen was set to execute us. But Corona convinced the Queen to let us live. Although now I wish we had been killed swiftly instead of suffering through Corona's so called surgery. I don't understand. How does this surgery fit into the insectoid plan? It doesn't. Corona has his own. He seeks to unlock the secret of immortality. The insectoids have a greater metabolism than us, so he hopes to merge the two species of dead cybernetic enhancements in order to live forever. Near his experiment is failure. We've been assigned to work here until we die. Why do you stay here? Why not just escape? We are part insectoid. We must obey the Queen's will, whether we want to or not. I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. One of the unfortunate side effects of Merging our two species is Dementia. Soon, I'll be quite mad, just like the rest. What do you do here? I tend to the clones, monitoring their life. When they are near the end, I must call for a drone to remove it and carry it. Body down to the furnace. Then another drone brings up another clone. I do what I can to make their shh fly a little less pain. It saddens me. How does this thing work? It's basically a large transfusion machine. Blood is drawn out of the clone and fed to the queen. Is there any way to shut it down? Not that I know of. Grona built it himself with some strange part. Only he knows how it truly works. Yeah, dye your hair, get sports car, that'll that'll deal with aging. You can you can even do it on a budget, like you can get second hand uh, Mazda MX-5 or a Miata if you're American, um, you know, relatively cheap uh, and you can uh, drive them around like a loon until your knees give out. Not that, that, that I did that at all. Have you tried Sledgehammer lady? I'm gonna try Sledgehammer now because I've got a Sledgehammer Sledgy, sledgy. Oh. Truly, truly. Hmm. Hmm. What have I done? A piece of machinery. Yeah. 
this is what Graven wanted. A piece of machinery. A sound generator. A sledgehammer. Alright, cool. So, we've got that. Mother! Father! Uh, so I guess it's back down to McGraven. <laughs> Through the sphincter. Yes. Oh, I gotta do the sound generator again. Just throw stuff at him. <laughs> Where did you find this? It was powering some type of machine that drained the blood out of the children and fed the queen. This is awful. How could I have been so wrong about Gromna? Yeah, we were all wrong about Glenna. I, I mean Gromna. Negative. Damn it! We the portal. It appears to be a miniature wormhole. Where does it lead? Nowhere right now. Think of this as a hallway with only one door open. Until another door can be opened, this doesn't lead anywhere. What about the second missing piece? That could be it. Wherever it is. Must hurry and find it before the peace treaty tomorrow. Something tells me that it's nothing more than a clever disguise for a more sinister plot. If you talk to like literally any of the insectoids around you, they go, "Yeah, it is." Okay, so we got half a wormhole. And. He doesn't need a sound generator. So we need to find another missing piece. Uh, so do we use the... No, that doesn't solve anything. going on here again. You got anything you need to say? Nope. So if you were another piece of machinery, where would you be hiding? I'm going to have to go through the sphincter of the thing again, aren't I? Let's just have a nose down here and make sure there's... Uh, Probably somewhere really annoying. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, I can still hear the clones going, Father! Nothing else by the bed. Nothing else. Any more notes for us? I do not understand them. Yeah, you're right, Fade. Um, Now, I 
have you got nothing new for us? Probably not. I'm sure um, the one who was upstairs said something that I probably wasn't paying that much attention to. Let's go through the bowels again. <laughs> Beep boop boop boop. Slurp. So that's what I'm thinking. It's like, oh, okay. So if that's what she does. Can I? Can I call for someone? That won't solve anything. That. Ah, grown Cyclops children. What a horrible fate! Their blood is. That. Their blood is. So we have infernal machinery, that takes us back downstairs via the sphincter. <clears throat> She's got nothing new to say to us. And I thought maybe like, you know, there'd be something we could do to uh a slick, a mm. It would be I can't do that. It would mm -hmm. be And then smash. I can't do that. There's something we gotta smash, right? Um, have we used a sledge? Yeah, we did use a sledgehammer on the, um, no, he's got nothing new. We don't still have the tools. We've only still got the sledgehammer. That seems to be multi-use, which was something we used on the furnace. Um, it's like, do we put the furnace back on so we start the movement of stuff again? That's about the only thing I can think of. Because the woman was saying, oh, she sends stuff down to the furnace, which we shut off, and this is all like, I think we probably want to go up that tube. Um, we used a sledgehammer to break this, and I don't know if we don't get to break it again. Alright, do we put the furnace back on? Because we can, yeah. Well, we could. That sound generator does nothing. Hmm.
Yeah, we use the tools to remove the piece of machinery uh, that was upstairs uh, in the clone blood sucky place. Can we poke the insect controls anymore? That's what I was just trying to do, but it didn't seem to like let me go do that. fairly certain that the tube kind of goes up and over and comes, whoops, over here. I'm sure the bugs were coming in here. What have we got? Nothing new, I don't think. Um, right, I don't think there's anything all the way at the top unless we start. Don't think I'm allowed to start smashing eggs. Smash the bug. No. I don't think you've got anything new to say, have you? No. Um. find it if I knew where it were. So I mean it probably looks something like that. Mark, what are you doing? Yeah, there's a portal, I know. And now we've hit the point where DJ wanders around going, I don't know what it is. Until someone goes, hey, What's that thing that you keep walking past all the time? I'm wondering, yeah, upstairs seems sensible. It seems like the sort of place where it could be hidden. The path is blocked. Can't watch the news anymore. The heater. It's alive! Yeah, that's... The only thing that's giving us a clue that there's something potentially to do is where does this tube lead? Looks flying up that tube. Where does it well, it leads up and out, right? So it leads up there somewhere. Like, is it that tube? Yeah, I tried sand machining it. As best I can tell, the sand machine only works to open up that sphincter. Like, is that the tube there? Can't get past that dude. Take the lift hook. So we did see McGravin go up this way, and then he disappeared somewhere. Uh, I tried walking back here, and you just end up... Blah, 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 and that's it. Oh, hang on, did you just... 
I thought I saw you moving at something else. Maybe it's that. Oh, what's that? I'll have to climb up there somehow. Aha! Aha! Okay, so, things. A, are these background crowds? Yes, the former astronomer. Are they literal Nazis? Maybe, possibly. I mean, they look like they could be sea kiling. Yikes. Uh, B, oh look, that really, really looks like the Earth, because I'm pretty certain that's the Americas you can see flying by, and, you know, yeah, it does look like the other land mass is probably Asia and Africa. Um... But yeah, here we are. Let's see what you're going to say about the Nazis. These screams show the enemy horde cheering Krona's speech. There are so many of them. Surely the Cyclops race will be destroyed unless I can stop the insectoids. Cameras broadcasting Krona's vile words to the enemy masses. Monsters, I'll crush you. Image of the Cyclops planet. That's Earth, dude. Let these bugs destroy my people. These screens show the enemy. Yeah. Cheering Gromna's speech. So many. Yeah, you, you so said that. Cyclops race will be destroyed unless I can stop the insectoids. And then big old in the back. The insectoid queen. I will not rest until she is destroyed. Uh, thank you, Fade Company. Yeah, I'll um, catch you soon, no doubt. Hey! Not only did we make a portal, but we went through. Hi, Bib Cat. has been right here right in front of my eyes the whole time now what the whole damn hive will be bearing down on us any second now hold on I figured it out the second piece serves as a compass for the wormhole with this I can open a doorway anywhere I'm setting the coordinates for the chambers of the peace council when we tell them about Romna they'll launch a preemptive nuclear strike against the hive that's it! Hooray for genocide? Achievement unlocked, major depression. Wow. Really a shame. 
Oh, what? Where am I? Cyclops, <laughs> bugs, mother. All these monsters must mean something, but what? Uh, it means Dr. Morgan is a right bastard and tried to kill you, maybe? Wow, the, the plot is thickening. Uh, I think this is probably a good break uh, to make. Um, okay, we, it seems to fit a good little pattern that we have Max in allegedly Sanitarium and then the weird psychodramas and so we seem to pop off there. Oh look, oh look, is that my dead sister again? Um, let's just uh, save game. Uh, chapter 7, so we've had Mother to the Father! Uh, yeah, I think that's probably a good place to uh, to leave it for today. Um, yeah, this game is just hitting all the edged lord tropes, huh? Um, thank you for coming, thank you for joining. Um, thank you, former astronomer. Uh, our key player again today uh, with uh, with regards to sort of like going what about the pillow yeah well done former astronomer on that front uh, let me just see what's going on here because I think I'm guessing Guy probably hasn't kicked off yet otherwise we could uh, we'd go and raid him um, at, uh, but yeah uh, so I think probably we'd just uh, just knock it on the head for that. Uh, so tom uh, tomorrow night's meant to be roleplay night, but I haven't got any stories. Uh, shush you, whoever that was. Uh, yeah, I haven't got any stories for roleplay night tomorrow night, so we're going to watch the second part of the Langoliers. Uh, that'll be fun. Oh boy, that was <laughs> that was something. Um, yeah, so I might be back on uh, probably Friday, I think. We'll come back and we'll do some more weekend streaming. Um, haven't got any cat cans uh, for you. Yeah, so uh, probably see you in about half hour at uh, over on Guy's stream. Um, where he can do the spooky Resident Evil stuff. And uh, I might buy some bits and just like occasionally scream at him. Because it's funny. He's a lovely, lovely, lovely fella, and uh, yeah, I don't know why, but just like making him jump and uh, getting on his nerves, it's also really enjoyable. Uh, does it say a lot about me? Maybe it does. Anyway, my lovely dears, uh, I'll see you over there, uh, or otherwise, see you on Friday, most likely. Daddy, bye.